Hello friends, it's Matt Gardner from the California Technology Council here with a CTC news update on regions of innovation. We want to take a closer look at a story this week published by Bloomberg taking LinkedIn data on tech jobs migrating from one community to another. Before we get into that, here's a quick word from our sponsors. Oh, you're here. Welcome to your nano degree program. I'm so happy you could join us. We've partnered with industry leaders to create a learning experience just for you. Let me show you around. If you get stuck, I'll be right alongside you and your classmates to help you get unstuck. Learning a new skill isn't just about technical ability, it's a total shift in mindset. But you've got this. You're Udassian now. Hey there, problem solvers. Packing that entire workspace into that tiny bag? We'll help you be productive anywhere with devices, tech support, and more. Because our business is to keep business going. Buy online, pick up in store, or get free next business day shipping. There are thousands of ways into the complex healthcare system. Choosing United Healthcare can help make the system simpler for your family by talking to a registered nurse day or night. Could be pink eye. Be careful. It's contagious. Oh, I know. United Healthcare. So we'll take a closer look at this uh, feature slide from the Bloomberg story. But in essence, it covers top boom towns from uh, people migrating based on their LinkedIn profiles over the last year. What we see is that Austin, Texas is the top beneficiary as a community of tech jobs growing. Uh, what you'll find here is the two Texas communities and four, four Florida communities uh, benefiting the most uh, from overall growth uh, during this stretch of time covered. Also see a few communities in North Carolina, a lot of Western region cities, Phoenix, uh, Denver, Seattle, and Portland, and so on. Uh, you even see Sacramento benefiting quite a bit from uh, what seems like internal migration from the San Francisco Bay Area. Of course, this article has spawned a series of follow-up pieces. Among those, we find some discussion of what's happening in the Silicon Slopes in Utah and whether they can successfully navigate through some of the challenges that have been experienced in communities like the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, which is struggling under its own sort of weight. Uh, and you know, then we find stakeholders in other communities doing the inevitable jockeying for what this means uh, regarding, you know, who's in the lead. For example, in this piece, you find that this author has combined the four Florida communities as if they were one and said that basically Florida comes out on top because these four separate communities have grown the most in the last year. Uh, of course, there are two additional uh, Texas communities. So Florida and Texas coming out uh, smelling like roses in this Bloomberg piece. Uh, we still think that uh, interesting things are, are happening inside California. Uh, is this a new trend? What has changed? Uh, is this a representative only of the pandemic period? Uh, stay tuned. We'll have more on this in our next episode. Uh, that's it for, for this uh, quick hitting coverage of the uh, Bloomberg Tech Migration article this week. Uh, for more information, you can always visit us at www.californiatechnology.org. Uh, we do have a new Regions of Innovation Taxonomy project, so if you'd like to know more about that, please email us at join at californiatechnology.org. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, stay tuned for again for more on our uh, deep dive analysis of this uh, Regions of Innovation article uh, this week in Bloomberg in our next episode. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll look forward to next time.
Find and secure your best rates on small business financing fast and free with Fundera. Our sole mission is to help ambitious business owners get the capital they need. Apply to over 23 lenders with one application. Checking your best rates has never been easier and it doesn't impact your credit score. Our expert customer service team works with you every step of the way. Give Fundera a try today. Your best interest is our best interest. Each year, more than 16 million professionals take computer-based tests through Pearson View. With 20,000 testing centers around the world, we serve more than 450 clients across many sectors, from healthcare to information technology, government, financial services, military, and academia. We help develop, manage, and deliver our clients' testing programs, including licensure, certification, academic admissions, regulatory, and government testing. Whether progressing their careers or preparing for postgraduate programs, Pearson View enables people to take the next step in their own learning journey. I used to think that all kale was alike. It's not. It's not? Mm -hmm. They look alike. <laughs> I used to think all eye doctors were alike too. She is a VSP private practice doctor with the Orange Premier Banner for advanced technology and personalized attention. Schedule your annual eye exam with a private practice doctor at vsp.com slash premier. This is what more looks like. That's a nice scale. That's Swiss chart. <laughs>